Nemso Indian Defense, 3 Knights Variation, 4, oh, oh. Sudden a close game that was lost by a mistake. White really outplayed Black in that one. The opening was balanced. White overpowered Black in the middle game. Opening with the Queen's Pawn. The Indian game begins by controlling the important e4 square with the knight, rather than a pawn. By taking control of the crucial d5 square and creating a space on which the knight can move to c3 without obstructing the c-pawn, move c4 helps to create a strong center. The move e6 creates a line for the dark squared bishop, sets up a rapid castle, and prepares to push a pawn to d5 and recover the piece if it is taken. And c3 develops the knight to fight for the e4 square and to control d5. In the Nimso Indian defense, bb4 pins the knight on c3 and threatens to trade, disturbing white's pawns after bx c3 and preventing it from moving or defending e4. Nf3 develops the knight, defends the d4 pawn and controls the e5 square. Castling gets the king out of the center and activates the rook. By pinning a knight, this increases pressure. This uses a pawn to attack the center while vying for position. The bishop will be better off as a result of this. It is the final book action. It is a fair deal after all captures. That's good. Recaptures. It is quite good. This strikes the opponent's bishop. It is ideal. The bishop is now in a secure position. It is ideal. This hits in the middle and prevents the opponent from gaining ground. That's good. By moving a rook from its starting square, this activates it. It is quite good. This exchange is fair. It is quite good. Backs off. It is ideal. By doing this, a knight moves out of its beginning square and into the action. That's good. Castling develops a rook while moving the king to a safer position beyond the board's center. Castling to the same side of the board as your adversary helps you escape some of the attacking that comes with castling to the other side. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. It's alright. That's good. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. As a result, the bishop grows and gains flexibility on the long diagonal. It is ideal. This squanders a chance to link rooks. It is incorrect. This develops a rook off its starting square, getting it into the action. This threatens to reveal an attack on a bishop. It is excellent. This threatens to win material. This stops the opponent from being able to reveal an attack on a bishop. It is excellent. This suggests exchanging items of equivalent value. It is quite good. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is ideal. This exchange is fair. It is quite good. This forces doubled pawns in front of the opponent's king, decreasing its safety and harming the pawn structure. It is good. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. This is an equal trade. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. Recaptures. It is ideal. The rooks can see each other now, allowing them to provide mutual defense. This threatens to pin a bishop. It is best. This overlooks an opportunity to defend a pawn that was under attack. This allows the opponent to win a tempo by threatening a bishop. It is an inaccuracy. This wins a tempo by threatening a bishop and forcing it to move away. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This protects the bishop who was attacked. It is quite good. There were worse maneuvers, but there were also much better ones. It is incorrect. This accomplishes this by posing a threat to a rook and compelling it to flee. That's good. This causes material loss. It is a mistake. That was a great move and very hard to find. This is the only move that works. This was a game-changing move, giving white a winning position. It is brilliant. Backs off. It is ideal. 
This is the only good move. It is a great move. This avoids the rook's check. It's compelled. This simultaneously reveals an attack on a rook and checks the king. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. Sudden a close game that was lost by a mistake. White really outplayed black in that one. The opening was balanced. White overpowered black in the middle game.